Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to resize photos and compress photos online. Now before making this tutorial and uh, trying to find a great tool, I'd always used Photoshop and I didn't really believe that there would be uh, an online tool that could match it, but after finding this one I've uh, looked through several, a lot actually, this was probably on page 2 of Google, and this tool is fantastic. So if you don't have Photoshop, and you don't want to use GIMP uh, or you're not on your own computer go straight to resizeimage.net click on upload an image uh, choose the photo that you're going to be using uh, I've chosen this one here, how to resize photos which is 4 megabytes 4000 kilobytes and it will upload, you can see the status of it here so while it's uploading, uh, you can just be patient really, and you can start to go through your other options. So we've got an option to crop your image. Um, we'll actually wait because when the image uh, uploads fully, when it gets to 100%, you'll see a preview, and you'll be able to see how the crop your image uh, function works. Cropping images is something I often do in Photoshop, so this is a great option to be able to do online using this tool. So we've got into 100%. You can now crop and resize your image. So you can see this photo of a beach somewhere in New Zealand. Uh, and if you wanted to crop it, then you would go through using your selection area, playing around here. This is just done by clicking and dragging and clicking on crop. We're not going to do that for this example, but again, it's fantastic. Uh, rotate your image, so if your image is upside down or sideways for some reason. Resize your image, we're going to do that. It's currently nearly 4,900. Um, this is for a blog post, so I'm going to put it down to 1,200 by 900. Make background transparent. Uh, we're not going to do that. Select the output image format. We're using JPEG. And finally, optimize your image. So we're going to click normal compression. Uh, this is on 100, so we'll just click resize image. And it will tell you what the resized image will be. So at the moment, at 100 image quality, it's 486 kilobytes that we get. So you can either drag the bar here, or you can change it in the box. So I'm going to we'll try 90, and we'll click again resize image. Okay, so at 90, we're going to get down to 90 kilobytes. So let's say I wanted exactly 100 or close to 100. At 91, and we've got 98.2. At 92, we've got 104. So I'm going to go up. 91, resize image. Click download image. Your image is going to download. And here it is right here. So if we now open that image, looks pretty good. And we could even put it right beside our original image that we um, used to start with. Okay, so we'll just rename it, so we'll call it web. We'll put it back up and we'll compare it. So this is our original image. And this is the optimized one. So we've gone from 4 megabytes, 4,000 kilobytes, down to 100 kilobytes. And I can't see any difference whatsoever. So anytime you're writing a blog post, anytime you're uploading images to your website, make sure you optimize them. And resizeimage.net is a fantastic tool to do it with. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in another tutorial.